Good Tuesday morning, everyone. <laughs> Hi there. <clears throat> I know I'm streaming like, what, four days in a row now? But, I mean, we only have one hour left of the uh, New Life Festival. And so I wanted to try to get it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop in there. <clears throat> we're going to start off with Child. Um, we're going to um, get the one quest. And then I'm going to hop over to the other server. <coughs> and either with uh, either with Grim or um, Raven. Uh, probably Raven. I'll probably do it with uh, go with Raven and just stay on, on there. Um, since we've got like an hour before it ends, I don't know if the game servers will go down uh, for maintenance just so that way they can remove th um, that stuff or not. <clears throat> if the servers are going to go down for maintenance, then I'll end the stream. Um, so we, we should be able to at least get close to an hour in minimum. So, I was going to say, taking a hundred years just to log me in. All right, let's get the, the daily notification. Right. <clears throat> we'll talk to Breda. It warms my heart to share the new life festival. The drink, it warms my belly. What's uh <clears throat> What's another way people celebrate the new life festival? Once, very briefly, the city of Ebenhart decreed dancing to be illegal. The dark elves promptly invented the lava foot stomp. Which they called a necessity should their poop ever catch a flame. They practiced it in taverns while wearing a small pin. What sort of pin? A dazzling pin such as this showed they were in friendly company. Now it's a symbol of participation. Best to experience the lava foot stomp for yourself. I'll mark the taverns on your map. Now go forth and dance. All right, I'll dance the lava foot stump. <clears throat> There's something that she was saying that I found funny, but I don't remember what it was now. Oh well. Okay, so we're headed back to Davin's watch. <clears throat> Of course, my neck is stiff for some weird reason. Started that just shortly after I sat down on my chair. So, something weird. I don't know, maybe my head will explode. That'd make for some in interesting content, wouldn't it? You wouldn't need to worry about, you know, following me as well. I'd kind of be, well, splattered. There's something wonderful about wandering a city's streets with no destination. I need to go in there and <clears throat> make sure he's you know how long I've been he's set to uh, talk the least often because you can't um, adjust slightly how often they remark. Use this. <clears throat> People, kick those heels. Dance for the master. There you go. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? Temporarily forgot where I was supposed to go. Quit following me, psycho lady. Whoops. Yeah. 
such grace, such style. <laughs> okay, so now we have to go to Ebonheart. Mm. Mm, that was weird. <clears throat> Couldn't get a good look at her. At well, I think that was a her. A lot of red. You know how long I've been looking for you. Stop looking for me, then. Sorry, that was a mixture of Child of the Father, Smeagol, and um, a uh, an old voice I used to give uh, a dwarf I played. How would you like to do something worthwhile? Just love the sound of her voice. Oops. <clears throat> Why can't I see <clears throat> this way? Ah, there it is. Cities are as alive, fickle, and uncertain as people. Some are good, some are bad. Friend, a some moment of your gifts. time. Others rob you blind. <laughs> He's doing the lava foot part, part of the lava foot shuffle right there in the fire. I'm really thinking that that mount, that weird uh, black mount, I think that has something. I think that's the mount that you can get with that um, unstable uh, monolith or whatever the heck it's called. I think. <clears throat> Who's complaining? I'm crying for the love of the three. Return to Breda. <clears throat> oh, the Sore neck or stiff neck or whatever. You have the smell of soot hmm. about you. Did you just return from Ebenhart? I completed the lava foot stomp. So you brought some much needed joy into the dour lands of Stone Falls? This is why the lava foot stomp occurs each year, at least for a time. The warm feeling comes from within, and not all the nearby volcanoes. The new life is about what the old year was, and what the new year can be. Goodbye, Breda. Step over here, go through our stuff. Four event tickets. <clears throat> Not enough. I think I need five to be able to buy something. So, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and 
like I said, log out of child and continue with um, Raven. Server, North, what? Come on, North America. And Raven. Right. Hopefully she doesn't have me do the lava foot stomp too, because I kind of did a lot of those yesterday. <coughs> it's just that's how it felt. Freda. Off you go. See the celebration for yourself. Huh? Oh, I already have one. I already have a quest. I was going to say, what the hell? <coughs> I didn't realize I, I already had a uh, quest uh, ready. That was kind of disconcerting for a little bit. Made me think, what the heck happened? They'd go ahead and they close it up early? You see me moving my head weird. It's just because it's hard to turn my turn my head with my neck being stiff. I still got to figure out what's causing because it didn't start getting stiff until I got home and sat down to relax. So I don't understand what you know what the deal is. It's not like I'm doing anything different. Wow. <clears throat> I wouldn't have got that if those if those people wouldn't have come in when they did. I told you to get out of here. All right, all right. Yeah. Say you didn't tell me anything. That's it. Shake what your mama gave you. Well, she's got her speed maxed out. <clears throat> Look at that thing go. I must finish this. Don't let me stop you. So it kind of makes me wonder where. Oh, it's just right there. We raise fine forces in Devil's Watch. Once sold one to Vivek himself. What can I help you with? <laughs> All right, Aaron. Yeah. Aw, I was hoping to stand right alongside it so I can get a good look at it. 
it does look like it's a type of griffin. Go to House Halalu. I know that bard needs some work. I don't mean jobs. <clears throat> I mean he needs practice. Such a nice little fawn horns. Oh, I suppose I could. It wasn't the plan, but hey. <laughs> A couple of bunnies. All right. <clears throat> Return to Breda. And yes, I'll keep, uh, <clears throat> I'll keep doing the, uh, new life quests as long as, um, with her as long as I can. Because <clears throat> that's, that was the idea is to get what, get the one done with child that would give him the three and then come over here and whoops, just, just play until time runs out. I know I won't get all the, all the quests done because it usually takes about I'm pushing two hours. <clears throat> to get them all done, so. We probably only have about roughly 40 minutes. God, it's so stiff. It's just right here. Right, right here. Right from about... Starts right about there. I'm just right there. And I don't know why. I don't get it. Because I'm not doing anything different than I normally do. So, I don't know. You have the smell of soot about you. Did you just return from Ebenhard? I completed the Lava Foot Stomp. So you brought some much needed joy into the dour lands of Stonefalls? This is why the Lava Foot Stomp occurs each year. At least for a time. The warm feeling comes from within. And not all the nearby volcanoes. So we got, <clears throat> got our three. The new life their own way. I do so love the variety. What's another way people celebrate the New Life Festival? Khajiit of Walcott honor their trickster god Rajin with the trial of five clawed Gaia. Travel to Reaper's March and speak with Gumira. She'll help you celebrate the new life with the slightest of hands. All right, I'll head to Ralka. <clears throat> I was just thinking, I, I know who needs that 100,000 uh, gold when the time comes. <clears throat> and that's going to be, well, I mean, I don't know about this server, but on the other server, it's definitely going to be child. Because I need to get him some bag space. Reaper's March. I'm trying to remember where Reaper's March is. I think it's up here. I could be wrong. I probably am. So that means it's down here. Reaper's March.
a fuzzy that disappeared, a little, I don't know what it was, cosmetic pet of some kind. I should learn not to blow the smoke out my nose. For some reason, when I do it on my vape pen, it will make me sneeze. Why would I do that? Or how would I do that? Why? Rachin once said, a lock is a pebble to be tossed from one root. Use your lock pick to retrieve the contents of the nearby chest. Show you have as little regard for barriers as the mighty Rachin and be quick about it. Rachin. I think she's the only one I've ever heard them pronounce, uh, pronounce his name Rachin. Put the CH in there. I think it's just Rajin or Rajin. She's the only one I've heard do it that way. Ah, get away from the fire. Ah. Oh. oh this is going to be a bad one. I can tell already. Well, that's kind of cool. Almost all of them went to the bottom. I might, I might make it after all. Ah, uh, fifteen seconds to spare. <clears throat> so not too bad. Rachin would applaud your swiftness. Though he might instead pick the pocket of one distracted by your prowess. Truly, the best deeds come and go with the wind. If you distracted by your prowess. Not prowess, but prowess. I guess it's a little different. Uh, what should I do with the coins? What coins? You aren't the only one who honors Rachin. As you brought them to me, another retrieved the coins from your pocket and returned them to the chest. Such is how Ralka celebrates the new life, finding true wealth in our actions. All right. <clears throat> I was going to see how many uh, tokens I have now. Or not, you know... Not tokens. Event tickets. Nine. So I need I need to spend some then. <clears throat> um excuse me. Let's see, I won't get sent to Reaper's March or Reaper's March. Davin's watch again. So I'll go ahead and go there first. <clears throat> Go to the impresario. I think I only need one pe one more piece to make the mount on this uh on this server. God, my neck is so stiff. And then I can just use that portal to go see Breda. What might these magic trinkets do? I leave it to you to discover. Which is a pretty crappy business practice if you think about it. You're selling magic trinkets and you don't know what they do. You figure out, ah, buy one and try it out. Excuse me? <laughs> also, I still need... Uh, the Curus, the Greaves, and the Pauldrons. Hmm. Oh, I bet the piece I need is a tenor. Let's see. 
because I've got those. When you have black iron bit, the bit, uh, let's see. When you have, so it's, what? Oh, those are red because I can't afford them. <clears throat> so I don't know what I have. So she's not going to get any more unless. Yeah, that's what it had. A, a Dragonic Quasi Griff. That's got to be what that is. But I don't know what I still need because I don't have enough to, you know, highlight that. So. Yeah, well. Hmm. <clears throat> A little spaghettification. Completed the trial of Five Claw Guile. What did Tumira ask you to do? Retrieve the coins from the chest or from the victor's purse? No, don't tell me. I'll ask her when she visits. Ugh. All right. I am only a new life peril during the festival. Otherwise, I run a lumber mill. What's another way people celebrate the New Life Festival? The orcs of Betnik celebrate through the Stone Tooth Bash. A constant party, not the repeated punching of faces. Though sometimes there is punching. Matron Borbuga is an <clears throat> old friend. Seek her out on Betnik. She will show you. Alright, I'll celebrate the Stone Tooth Bash. First off, let's go through our... <clears throat> Goodies, just in case. Already know that one, huh? Hi. Off to Betnik. Betnik. Okay. Oh, man, my neck is so stiff. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Talk to the matron. Who are you? Why are you wasting my time? I was here yesterday and you forgot already? Brenda sent me to celebrate the Stone Tooth Bash. Still kicking? You should have seen us in our younger days. Well, friends of Breda are friends of the clan. So do your part and help fill the larder. <coughs> what do you need? I need something bloody and something sweet. Bring me fresh meat and honey cold. You won't need to travel far. Everything you need is on the island. <coughs> 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 I'll bring you fresh meat and honeycomb. <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> but I don't get. <coughs> she, you know, she's like, you know, that old mammoth's still kicking, which means, you know, she hasn't heard or seen Breda. 
in a long time. <coughs> that's what I don't, I don't, that's one thing I don't understand, or would not understand in, in, the, in this game, is, <coughs> one second. I wish I knew where the, uh, <coughs> wasp nest was. <coughs> but like I was going to say, um, <coughs> okay, because <coughs> it doesn't cost anything to use, um, the way shrines. So, <coughs> you know, you wouldn't have much, you really wouldn't have an excuse not to, uh, you know, visit somebody. I mean, you've got something that will take you all across the, the continent. So you really, you really don't have an excuse. <coughs> it would eliminate the, pretty much the need for planes. Because, I mean, why spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars for, you know, the fastest ticket to a certain place? <coughs> when you can just go to a way shrine. Whoa, let's not fight a wa another wasp. I don't need to. I just need wolves. <coughs> that looks like a promising spot, especially since there's a wolf right there. Here we go. <coughs> This is a weird random thought I had. Basically call, calling them out on things that just doesn't seem right. <coughs> Especially since she's the matron. So, you know, she's in charge. She should have no trouble, even if it cost her something. To get, you know, a handful of gold and walk over to the way shrine and hop in the way shrine and select you want to go to East March. <coughs> so, I don't know. Good, you're back. I'm almost out of meat. What did you bring? I've acquired some mysterious meat and honeycomb. Hearthwife Shoal said you wouldn't return, but you have a hunter's heart. Freda wouldn't send you otherwise. Well, don't just stand there. Eat and drink your fill. <coughs> Sold a good belt to the face for not getting your measure. Clean my peak. What is someone doing PvP in here? Sure sounds like it. <coughs> oh no, somebody did something and got and got a guard after him. Don't fight the guards, they're immortal. They're not like the Skyrim guards that you can kill. <coughs> mm, that kind of concerned me there for a split second. Come on. Now I need to show my appreciation. Still showing it on my... There we go. 
<clears throat> All right. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Breda. Welcome back. Did you enjoy your journey to the island of Betnik? I took part in the Stone Tooth Bash. Good food, good drink, and good times are the heart of Betnik's celebration of the new life. I'm glad Matron Vorbega could show you herself. I do miss the adventures we had in our younger days. I'd tell stories, but I don't want to burn your ears off. It warms <clears throat> my heart to share the new life festival. The drink it warms my belly. What's another way people celebrate the new life festival? The Bretons of All Care Castle have a curious tradition called the Castle Charm Challenge. Long ago, after a terrible war, the steward declared a contest. Any performer who most delighted the castle's survivors would win great renown. What sort of performances? <clears throat> Here, everything in this performance kit will let you experience for yourself. Go to Alcair Castle in Stormhaven and perform for the crowds. They're quite friendly, so don't fear your time in front of them. All right, I'll take part in the Castle Charm Challenge. And I'll have to see if I can find Stormhaven, because that's one of the areas I have a hard, always have a hard time finding on the map and can never remember where the hell it is. All right, Stormhaven. Let's, let's see, Reach, Vankarai, Rockgar. Or maybe. <clears throat> All right. Now I will say that didn't take too long, but I did look at dang near every region. Let's do another a different mount. Just because. Uh, what do we want? Eh, let's do a cave bear. Can't really see. The there's space too well. There we go. Kinda. <laughs> Alright. Baharajan has no authority here. Ah.
right into the camera. She's going to do it again. <clears throat> oh. Only because I was going to get right behind that person and try to set him on fire. I'm sorry, do I know you? Why are you here? <laughs> I'm not here. I'm gonna get that. That wood. <coughs> I don't know why. <coughs> Just felt like doing it. I mean, I really try to pick, pick up the uh, crafting materials on the other server just because it's an you know it's still new so they don't have a whole lot of stuff and unfortunately you can't donate between servers <clears throat> so yeah what are you gonna do god net Try to see if maybe if I just rest my lean my head back and keep it that way. If maybe that will help, but I'm usually not really good at doing that. It just doesn't feel natural. I hope you enjoyed your time at Al Care Castle. A shame I did not see for myself. I completed the Castle Charm Challenge. Then you know its importance to all care castle. Imagine a castle recovering from a terribly bloody war. Parents lost, siblings scarred, children buried. After such tragedy, they celebrate the new life as a chance to laugh and wonder once more. The new life is about what the old year was and what the new year can be. What's another way people celebrate the New Life Festival? <clears throat> the High Elves of Hazen have the War Orphan Soldiers. They travel to a temple in the heart of Grotwood and donate what they can. I'll mark your map. It's quite simple. Give what you are able to give. Alright, I'll walk the War Orphan Sojourn. Not sure why I got that little speed boost, but I won't complain. Grotwood. I don't know why I went over to Glenumbra. Probably because I don't remember where anything is.
Someone pulled that off. <clears throat> I don't remember how, how you can do it, but there's a way of... It has to do with timing and button presses or whatever, but you can do it to where you summon your mount, but you're standing on top of the mount. But it is a song of sorrow. And Something must be done. as you're traveling by your mount running, you're running in place on top of the mount. It looks really weird and funny at the same time. Oh, so there's like a Kenku. Another on the war orphan sojourn. Though Stendar provides for all lost children, we will not turn away donations for our charges. Other than donations, what can I do to help? Ah, yes. Some of those who walk the war orphan sojourn are far less capable than yourself. The creatures alerted to their passage see them as a fine meal. Aggressively dissuading these creatures would help clear the path if you're so inclined. How do I donate to the War Orphan Fund? I can assist you with that. Anything you can donate will help. We must keep our charges fed. All right, I'm ready to donate. 342 gold. What grace. Standar smiles upon those who help lost children. Today, he smiles upon you. All right. <clears throat> it's funny that that one with the bird mask was right in the same area that we were. You know I've got to try, right? That was, I think that was the, the, the last bit of the boss. These mortals are strong, okay. but not strong enough. Yep. That's exactly what that was. So if I would have been another 30 seconds or so, I wouldn't have been able to get the, uh, be able to loot the chest. So that's cool. All right, let's see which one I'm headed. Yep. Don't. Yeah. Me. Oh, there it is. Just getting ready to check my map again. I don't know why I really like it when I can hear those howler monkeys. I don't know why. You shouldn't hear it in that area, though. You need to be in the jungle. Not the forest. <clears throat> but... So 
not gonna be too much longer. You return after quite the journey. Well, I completed the war orphan sojourn. I did all I could to help the children. Then you truly understand the war orphan sojourn. <laughs> the heck? You return after quite the journey. Oh, somebody did a uh thing. Then you truly understand the war orphan sojourn. The children have lost everything. Providing what you can, and then even more, gives them new life in a new year. It is not easy, but it eases their burden, which is all they know. <clears throat> Local traditions are essential to the new life. Sometimes they change year to year. Someone used a uh, tool or a, or a memento that... Uh causes other players uh character to react physically so that interrupted my <clears throat> talk with Breda. scared me i thought it was all over uh what's another way people celebrate the new life festival red guards of bergama have the signal fire spring it honors an ancestor who saved their city from certain doom a true gift of new life Go there, to the Alakir Desert, and speak with Obatha. She can explain. Alright, I'll head to Bergama. <clears throat> I don't know what the computer says. I can't see a clock on my computer, but I've got seven minutes according to the clock on the wall. So hopefully we can... I mean, I'll do this every time. You know, you complete the quest, and you're like, well, I'm going to at least pick up the quest. You know, and then you're like, well, maybe I have enough time to do the quest. Yeah. But this one's actually a pretty, pretty fast quest. You may be safer in the desert than in Bergama, Wayfarer. Yeah, you tell me this at least once a time I come in here. If not twice. Or three times. Mr. Bear Bear's... Oh, I was going to say, Mr. Bear Bear's almost out of juice. Just ran out. You are unfamiliar, but not unwelcome. <clears throat> what brings you to Bergama? I'm here for the signal fire sprint. You honor us with your journey. Light Bergama's signal fires before I end my count, as Zora the Tenacious did long ago. Who is Zora the Tenacious? Long ago, a great sickness swept through Bergama. Those who survived were gravely ill. This included Bergama's sworn blades, her protectors. Can you hear it? One of the dark anchors just exploded. Ah, uh, sorry. Go on. Emish Poison Tongue, a warlord of the Sands, learned of Bergama's weakness. One night, his band of cutthroats approached the city, hoping to take our wealth and slaughter our people. One sworn blade stood watch. Zora the Tenacious? Indeed. Though afflicted, she alone stood her post. But she knew there was no hope against so many. Yet, she knew how to save Bergama. If she lit the signal fires quickly, Emish would think the illness had passed, that our defenders were ready. <clears throat> I'm listening. Zora sprinted to each unlit signal fire. Alone she ran despite her illness, and lit every one. She rallied every sworn blade in Bergama. As we took the field, Amisha's band panicked and fled. Even ill, our defenders cut down every desert dog. What happened to Zora? Sadly, the illness took her that night, but not before Amish was driven off. But Zora died knowing Bergama was safe. 
So now, every year, we honor her sacrifice. Few could ask for a better legacy. Okay. Oh, she automatic automatically put her, uh, or dismounted. That was good. Begin. The warlord approaches. So say they know something I don't when it comes to um, how to get to these quicker, and I really don't think they know. Quickly to me, the warlord prepares to strike. No, he doesn't. Wow! Ooh, caught the corner of that and rolled off of it. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> With the signal fires lit and our defenders alerted, Zora finally collapsed. Such courage drove our ancestors to victory against the warlord and his band. To understand her sacrifice is to understand Bergama. I see. What now? Now, I bid you a fond farewell. You honored our city by respecting Zora's memory. Tall Papa, look kindly upon you. May you always find water and shade. Something else to keep forgetting to do is find out who Tall Papa is. But I think it was Mary that t that told me that um, Tall Papa is a name they have for a for a uh, for another. Uh, I think it's a. I can't remember if it's. I think it's an Adra. You know, what, it's not not a Daedra. I don't think it's Daedra. I think it's a, the one of the Adra. I don't remember. <clears throat> I need to find out. Nope, he didn't get his words out that time. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. I think I'll see if I can look that up after I turn in, turn this into Breda. Because, according to my clock, it's nine. So, I don't know what all is going to happen. Where's... Is she gone? Where is she? That's bread, not Breda. Uh, I think it ended and she's gone. Yeah, because the other person's gone too. Oh, man. So I missed her bot probably by seconds. Yeah, they're thinking the same thing. So that means I've got a quest, a completed quest, that I can't turn in until next year. That might have been the outfit I was wondering about earlier. I think it is. Because of the crescent shape of the of that hammer, I think I, I remembered seeing that. Now the part I don't understand is if she's gone, why does everybody hang out here?
That's aggravating. I, and just in case it's, you know, I know it's not, but just in case it's like a little glitch with all the people, I'm just going to go to another way shrine and come back and see if hopefully, you know, she shows up, which she, you know, she's not going to, but. I've got the quest to turn in. It's all I got to do. But. It does happen. Not looking good. Nope. Yep, she is gone. Celebration is over. So, let's see. Oh, I still got room. Because I was tr I was thinking, what do I want to do? Do I want to go ahead and uh, you know, delete it? Because I mean, it's going to be an entire year before you know she comes back or this thing comes back. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and abandon it. There. And then there's that enter uh, Dash Dashia's lair. That's where we were on this beforehand. Um, so let's see. Do we have any... Yep, we have three, three New Life Festival boxes or... New life, yeah, New Life Festival boxes. Aw, uh, I already have a Powder White Coney. And I can't do anything with it. I'll have to destroy it. Um, if I already have them, I'll have to destroy them. Because the contain the um, collections are account-wide. So. And you can't sell them. Go. Got rid of all that fest festivity stuff. Definitely looks like a Nord. Oh, I have one point. I was going to say, why is it bothering me about that? Okay, fine. 
I don't know where I'm going to put it, but let's look. I'll have to put it there, I guess. There we go. Really wasn't expecting that. Alright, um, now the Dashia's Lair, I do believe, is in Stone Falls. Is it not? I think it's north of, uh, of, uh, that place with the people. Ebenhart. Yeah, there it is. Okay. It was Ebenhart, but for some reason I was thinking that the name of it started with, um, like an S. So I really threw myself off. No, that's not what I want. I didn't want it. There we go. And we'll just go in there and do whatever it is we're supposed to do. Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we do it? How about that? It was so deep I lost my bear. Where'd he go? Water hyacinth. I don't get many of those. Usually. Let's see, good guys, bad guys. No, well, it says Nam Shah, but that doesn't tell me anything. I think they're. I can't tell. No, it's what it's a white aura, so they're neutral. Yeah, I'm going slower because I'm I'm actually kind of wanting to uh, farm. Um, you know the crafting stuff. I don't really say I want to farm it. You know, I want to collect what I what I see. I'm not going to, you know, just stay in this area and run all around. Ooh, I hear a, uh, Nern Root. Is that it? Sure enough. Oof. I don't think this is a swim I'm supposed to be able to do. I was looking to see if there was a uh, way shrine. 
You know what's going to happen, don't you? Either I'm going to die trying to get there because I was crossing large water, which doesn't look like that's going to happen. But probably what is going to happen is I will get there too late. And all of this was for nothing. They already, they're already dropping uh, big uh, enemies. So that tells you already that there are people fighting. Well, my luck is, wasn't so bad this time. Thrashing you thoroughly will please me, mortal. So if you wonder where all these little, these little um, extra orbs came from, you may not have noticed it, but even after uh, we won, um, creatures were showing up, and that's where those, um, I don't know what you want to call it, it almost looked like a, you know, like maybe a ball of energy that was trailing smoke came down and crashed. Um, whatever you want to call it, it was striking down uh more like ball's own and his own creatures because they had failed him so i always thought that was that was kind of cool that once you once you beat it you wouldn't have to fight anything else if it was there that more like ball would just take care of it So, we need to get over there. Weird. I know you, I know this is part uh, you you get here for um, a quest quest ending or starting I'm not sure um, what's I gonna do Let's see no, a stamina ring Oh yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to lose maximum health. All right. Well, let's keep going. Trying to loosen that muscle up. I still don't understand why it's even happening.
Just wanted to check. Probably all, all three of these swords are probably going to be B at beginner weapons. Looks that way. Alright, let's get, um... Let's get Miri out. I should have done that a long time ago. Miss me? Oh, it's terribly. Check her armor. So I'll make sure. Because I think it was I think it was Blabbermouth that had the stuff. Wants to group? I don't know why. It's a solo dungeon. I've been removed from the group. Well, where'd the group even go? Like, I don't, I don't care that that happened. Off with you, sweet. So we could go that way and snoop. This looks like it's just going to be stuff. Was that? Oh, it was just the sack. I thought it, it. I thought it hit on something inside there. All right, I remember the, what I was going to do. Since I don't have anybody in uh, Facebook chat. Oops. Elder Scrolls Online. Who is Tall Papa? According to the Elder Scrolls Wiki, fandom, Rupka, also known as Tall Papa, is the chief god of the Yokudan pantheon. Okay. That answered nothing. Let 
let's see. Because I don't know whose pantheon that is. I'm clicking on to look real fast. That needs to go away. Well, that was just not what I was looking for. I'm going to look for just a tiny, just a tiny bit. I was kind of hoping to find something that would have like a picture or something. I remember seeing, seeing, uh, Someone thought that he was Akatosh, might be Akatosh. That's, that's what I remembered. Um, but as I was looking, someone said, another person says they don't think he could be. So he could be his his own uh, his own thing. Anyways, we got a, we got a jerk to kill. Oh, well, why didn't you want to hurt them? I sure did. Oh, no, you won't. Merrick. Oh, not Merrick. That's uh, Dashia. Try that again. To the face. You have failed me, Dosha. Standar, my head. Talk to you in a minute. Because you just never know what happens after you talk to someone in an air, you know, in something like this. He could run and say, "Follow me." And then, you know, you're not going to have an opportunity to loot anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do the looting. He needs, to, I mean, whoa, did that say a shield? Nope. Sorry. Um, I mean, you know, he's been through a lot. He could, you know, use an, uh, a breather or two. I didn't see the soul gem. All right, now we can talk to him. She almost had me. Thank you, Comrade. Are you all right? Just need a moment to recover. I gave it to you. If you hadn't come along, I'll be fine. Stand our willing. What was she yelling about wanting your soul? I heard her communing with the Lord of Lies. Molog Vol is harvesting souls for some dark plot. He's especially interested in the souls of the faithful. What now? Comrade, grab that book and her notes on the table. I saw her scribbling after speaking to her master. We may be able to learn more about this plot. Learn what this Mortum Vivicus is. Grab them, then let's get out of here. 
So they weren't there just a second ago when I was snooping around? Guess not. You'd think I'd see a glowing journal. <laughs> Y'all understanding this, right? You better. There's going to be a quiz at the end. All right, so. Couldn't quite fig figure it out. I'll have to do a little research. All right, I can't remember there, what else. Ah. <laughs> Still had the sound going. All right, uh... Oh, this was, oh, yeah, I, for, I totally forgot that this was the uh, Fighters Guild. Even seeing, seeing Merrick's ugly face didn't help. Is that the only way out of here? Okay. I mean, it's not that big of a building. I just thought it was, you know, I wondered if there was a back door. No, oh, there's, yeah, there's these all colors. You are the sun on my scales, comrade. You've returned Merrick to us. He was captured by a necromancer, a follower of Molag Bal. Molag Bal. May he burn in the glare of a thousand suns. It's just like him to send an assassin to kill a noble warrior. That's a coward's weapon. She wanted him for something called the Mortem Vivicus. We found this journal and some notes. Sooth, the Mortum, what? And I can't make tails or scales of these scribblings. No matter. It's going to take time to decipher this scrawl, but we'll put our best scribe on it. Is there anything else I can do? You've done a great service for the Guild today, comrade. I look forward to drawing steel with you in the future. If we learn anything from the journal, I'll make sure you hear about it. I'll look for you down the river, comrade. You'll hear from us once we've decoded the journal. May I ask you a few questions, Guildmaster? Of course. After action report, yes. Wise choice. I saw a ghost here on the island. He claimed to be the last Guildmaster. Yafnir? His passage down the river called me to this post. What did he say? He told me uh, where Merrick was. He seemed rushed. Interesting. I'll get in touch with some of our sisters in the Mage's Guild. See if they can investigate this apparition. I try to avoid the Walking Dead when I can. How long do you think it will take to decipher the journal? Not long. Aleph told me you found some trinkets with the cultists. Between those baubles and the notes you found, hopefully we'll have a start for the translation effort. Champion level achieved. We just hit level 50, folks. So that's max level. Until they decide to increase it. Which they haven't, even in the last two, two big uh, expansions. So. Ooh, 10,000 gold. Look at that. And three attribute points. And then three skill points. Now the only way we can get skill points is um, from main, uh, I think it's main quest line, uh, chapter completions, and um, sky shards. So let's see what we what we can do. Well, let's go ahead and take the last one. Uh, let's see. Destruction staff. What of any of those? Oh, are, these are actual abilities. They're not passives. 
Okay, light armor. Give her another for spell warding. So here's something that helps improve sneak. But it's for, it's for medium armor. Let's see. What skilled tracker? Your fighter's guild abilities deal an additional 10% damage. Yeah, I haven't got to get up to up to 9. Was Mage's Adept? Oh. Ruination. Increases your weapon and spell damage. Alright, I'll take that. Alright, so... Now this, I think this long lost lore, I think this is something completely different. Maybe not. It sucks that there's no, uh, you know, like another like way shrine. I'm kind of surprised that, that I haven't seen what's his face, you know, the uh, um, the prophet, because I mean we still have some stuff left of that uh, quest line. So actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast travel, just because I want to fast travel. Yeah, I'm really surprised that they haven't contacted me. I don't know what they're waiting for. Maybe I have to get... I don't, I don't know, really. I was going to say more storyline done, but I'm, I'm not really doing... I think I've got the main storylines for that area done. Scribs. I'm just checking because I wasn't sure if I was actually um, questing in this area, and I'm not, because I'm just looking at seeing what's what's lit up. So I have not been actually quest, you know, doing quest lines in this area. I'm just doing where I'm being led by whatever this is. Funny, I couldn't tell who that was way back there. I didn't know it was Miri. I thought it was another player. This looks ripe for adventure. Maybe a tad overripe. <sighs> Let's ride.
some help? Help for what? We're doing fine. See? And there's the chest. See, there's some in the in the background. There's I don't know if you saw it or not. More enemies that just seem to have teleported in, and then Molag Ball just thumps them. All right. Rubidite. I don't think that's I don't know if that's a real ore. It does it doesn't sound real. Pewter. Whoa! Oh, Not what I wanted to do, but... Did that on, 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 on his own. Oh, this is an actual Dell. So that means there's a... Uh, um, Sky Shard in here somewhere. And enlightened, huh? Oh, yeah, it means I earn experience towards my next companion point and at an accelerated rate. Okay. I don't see why that's such a problem. go to the right. Morrowind has her eye on you. Does she now? In a 
big family, you have to know how to scrap. Winds of change. What is it? During the reign of Elgir, I took notice of the various patterns in the thoughts and behaviors of a troubled populace and undertook a humble plan to comprehend and in the end affect them. Being of ordered mind, I began my taxonomy in the lower classes, which divide evenly into those who the rest of the tome is illegible due to age and wear. Well. Oh. There's our sky shard. It's over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you saw me. Let's get us all together here, shall we? See you over there. Okay, that's new. Two out of three. All right, where are we headed? Yep, this way. All right, all right, all right. Hmm, stiff neck, stiff neck. Where to? Um, to... Let's just go straight. We'll hit that other one on the, on the way back.
I still don't understand why I'm searching a steam pipe and I'm getting armor out of it. It's just not making any sense. Constructs left hand. Huh? Oh, it goes to Clockwork City. Alrighty then. Hidden Twilight. The city of ink seeds rose from the desert, shi shining and decadent. Somehow it still stood. I crossed through the gate, and the beast knew exactly where to take me. The way worn by beggars and poets, the only place a man of my appetites can find satisfaction. I'm not proud, but then nobody ever is. The rest of the tome is illegible due to age and wear. Okay, so... Just kind of go around the little corner. The steam pipes where they're coming out of. There's the boss. See, it says we completed it. Summoning Rituals of the Archmage. The book appears blank. Okay. Whoa. Well done. I am Shalador, mm. young one. And I think you'll do nicely. Return that book to Velost. Tell her fire will show her the words. Okay. So now it is... Turn around, basically. Oh, once we take these guys out. <clears throat> and 
anything else back here? Oh yeah. A soldier who apparently was completely oblivious to his buddies being in combat and being killed. Or he's like, you know, thinking probably, well, they, you know, they're adults, they can handle it, and if whatever they're fighting comes to me, then I'll fight them on my own. So, we need to retrieve the last one, so we're going to go this way. Up, right, and then up. Should have joined the buoyant homages. This way. I didn't even see the arrow. Untold legends, as the great ships of men crawled the waves to their destinies, there were, after long years, a number of tales lost in the mists of morning. Even after the forgetting, though, wisps of story find ways to receptive ears, and as even the deepest of secrets never truly dies, uh, when fire... When fires burn and the night grows soft in, the rest of the tome is illegible due to age and wear. So now we have to return to the Mages Guild. Okay, so the easiest way looks like it's this way. the way to go.
I guess this is a fight now. We made it out. Right, so we... Now, is it wanting us to go to the Mages Guild? In... Yep, it is. Cheap enough to, to do that. Oh. I can't wait to take a load off at the end. Mm, not going to the inn. Going to the Mages Guild, actually. Superhero landing. There's Velast. Were you successful? Do you have the tomes? Yes, I have them right here. And something strange happened. Well done. You're already proving your worth to the guild. Sorry, did you say strange? What happened? An old man in robes appeared to me. He said his name was Shalador. Shalador? Grab the windmill and spider the spell mirror's forger. Are you speaking truly? And, uh, this book's pages are blank. Why is it glowing? Shalador appeared right after I picked up that book. He said fire would show you the words. The spell rites of the first era used a special ink that would remain invisible until immersed in arcane fire. Perhaps that's what he meant. We have a brazier nearby burning with such a fire. Let's see what the flames reveal. I'll give it a try. Cast the book into the arcane fire. Fear not. The pages will not burn. Can you tell me more of Shalador? Shalador was the most famous archmage of the first era. His dedication to spellcraft and his commitment to research were unmatched by any before or since. Most mages revere him, though he does have his critics. Why would he be criticized? Shalador felt that one should earn the right to be called mage. He created many trials to test the spellcasting metal of men and myrrh. His loudest detractors were those who failed those tests. Hmm. Er? Oh, that was the book we threw in there. <coughs> I can't understand the words here. They must be very complex spells. Complex indeed. Much of this is beyond my understanding, but here, this one is an attunement spell. We can summon Archmage Shalador himself. We'll need some uh, ritual orbs. What do these ritual orbs, what do these orbs do? They'll focus your <coughs> magic, attune your life energies, and <coughs> in place. The ritual will apparently also link your mind with his. What does that mean? 
It means that the Archmage will be able to guide you and speak to you whenever he chooses. Are you ready to begin? Yes, let's begin. To the center. As in First, this. we attune your spirit to Shalador. <coughs> ready. When you start, leave the orb before you. Knew it. I was right in choosing. <coughs> Archmage Shalador. I can sense. Yes. The aura around you glows with good fortune. You will be the one to help me complete my final task. Why me? What I hope to accomplish is difficult. Perhaps impossible. It will require great strength of spirit. I sense the strength in you. That is what drew us together in the ruins. What is this task? A storm <coughs> rages towards us, Adept. Towards the <coughs> And the mages of this great <coughs> quarter. I intend to offer them a safe haven, a sanctuary where they may study in peace. How do we create this sanctuary? I created that sanctuary centuries ago. It was stolen from the <coughs> <of> chaos. <coughs> transported to the Shivering Isles. To recover the island, we must locate four hidden tomes. This is the task of which I speak. Where are these tomes? They are being held in the place known as Cheesemonger's Hollow. It is a realm of the mad god, Sheogora. Stand by my side, and I will open a portal. I'll stand with you, Shalador. Be careful. Sheogorath is not to be taken lightly. I lost the sanctuary because of his nimble tongue and mad stare. Nimble tongue? <clears throat> Won't waste my time recounting his antics. Suffice it to say, he got the better of me. Bets were made, wagers were lost. And my sanctuary, Ivea, was pulled into his realm. My apprentice is screaming all the while. Why have you returned? To protect my legacy. While this guild was. After my time, I accomplished much in Tamriel. I founded schools of magic oversaw the construction of the great maze and bore my spell mirror into battle and you think the war could undo that i know it i laid powerful enchantments on my final resting place when my legacy is threatened i'm drawn back from aetherius my presence here is proof enough the three banners war is a threat to every mage in tamriel how did you lose this sanctuary won't waste my time recounting his antics. Okay. Suffice it to say, he got the better of me. Bets were made, wagers were lost. And my sanctuary, Ivea, was pulled into his realm. My apprentice is screaming all the while. Even though we all know who he is. Who is Sheagorath? He's known as the Daedric Prince of Madness. The Mad God. The Dunmer call him one of their four corners of the House of Troubles. And he's earned the title a thousandfold. He's also that, uh, that cat. Remember? I can't remember what they called him. What was it the mad cat or something like that? I don't remember, but it was some kind of cat that he took that form when we were questing in uh, elsewhere. Um, is he really a threat? He sounds like a joke. Don't take him too lightly. Madness comes in many forms. Gorath encompasses them all. He rules the Shivering Isles, but often takes an active interest in our world. That usually doesn't end well. Am I really going to a place called Cheesemonger's Hollow? Yes. An example of Sheogorath's humor. There are those that find his madness amusing. I am not one of those people. The mad god would just as soon serve you an aged cheddar as he would flay the skin from your bones. Remember that. Goodbye. <clears throat> well, 
you know what? I think that is a good enough place to end it for today. Don't you? <laughs> Are you probably thinking, no? But, yeah, this is, this is a good place to end it. So, we are going to log out. All right. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> that was fun. We had some, had some laughs. We had a couple of little disappointments, like having to abandon that quest because we missed Breda by, like I said, probably just a matter of seconds. No more than a, than one minute. But anyways, <clears throat> the uh, New Life Festival is over until next year. Um, I don't remember the name of the next festival. I think it, it takes place during uh, or, you know, around uh, Valentine's Day. Um, we'll just have to see. But um, I'm going to try um, this schedule of streaming and see how it works. The uh, stream shortly after I get home from work. So just like today, I you know, <clears throat> I got off work at seven, got here probably about seven thirty. 740 somewhere right around there started streaming um at 8 because I know I won't be able to stream tomorrow um because I'm prob probably once I do fall asleep when I go to bed in a few hours I will probably sleep for a minimum of 12 hours if not a lot more so cuz I don't sleep you know worth a darn during the week my body decides to catch up um, on Wednesdays, so, but if we do it that way, then, uh, we'll, you know, we could potentially be up to five streams a week because it would be, um, <clears throat> it would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday mornings. Uh, it's so like I said, you know, potentially five days a week. You know, minus if I have to do any, uh, if I have any appointments or errands to do, if those if those were going to be done, those would would be done today on Tuesday mornings. But, anyways, enough of that jibber jabber. <clears throat> um, um, hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed uh, the New Life Festival. I am going to try to make a point of actually doing the festivals, events, whatever you want to call them, if it's something that I'm able to do. The only thing I... It's not set in stone, but the only thing I say I will not do is uh, PvP. <clears throat> I'm not interested in it. So I don't plan on ever doing it. But uh yeah, that's you know, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm thinking about doing and not doing. So uh we'll see how it goes. Um I mean, if I can do <clears throat> I'd like to do the uh 5 days a week streaming. Um, I do feel like I, I miss out because usually when I get home, I don't, you know, play video games. I get on like, you know, I, I'll get on Facebook, I'll check Facebook for a while, and then I'll get on YouTube and I'll start watching videos, uh, that I, you know, from people that I've subscribed to. And, um, when I stream until 10 then I, you know, I don't feel like I can get it, you know, at least, I want to try to get three videos in, you know, my top three uh, channels that I follow. <clears throat> but anyways, well, I mean, we'll see. It's, 
it's a work in progress. Um, so it will probably be Friday morning when, uh, when we're back and, uh, <clears throat> then we'll, uh, step through, uh, step through the portal. So, uh, I'll just have to remember when I go and, uh, run the title <clears throat> when I go to uh, put it in the description when I'm uh, when I put the video up for it um, say so, you know after it's over and I've saved the video and I'm going to upload it to YouTube I'm gonna have to remember uh, that it is oh I'll need it for the stream for the stream too <clears throat> that we're running that because we, I won't be we won't be doing a specific town I don't believe that we're going to be uh, doing some of the uh, mages guild uh, quests but yeah it logs logs out so what, what was that called cheese cheesemongers hollow. I don't know. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to come up with some kind of interesting title. I'll have to do something with Sheagorath. He's one. Of, he's one of my fav favorite favorite Daedric princes. Goofier than a than a you know goofier than a pet coon. And just like that. And just like that. Uh, what's his face was saying? He'd you know he just as easily serve you a, a piece of cheese as flay the skin from your bones. It's all, it's all the same to him. <clears throat> and I mean, he likes to laugh. He likes to have a good time. And so he will use people to make him laugh. And how you make him laugh is immaterial to him. Whether you tell him a really good joke and he laughs, or you catch on fire and run around screaming, and he finds that funny. Both are the same to him. So, but, <clears throat> anyways, that's going to do it, folks. Um, thank you again for being here. I hope you had a good time. Uh, if you ever have any quests, quests, yeah, questions, concerns, comments, or anything like that, please feel free to, you know, put them in the comments below. <clears throat> um, if you have any, you know, suggestions for anything, game suggestions, you know, I'd be more than happy to, you know, at least take a look. Um, but... You know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're watching this as a YouTube video. If you're on uh, Twitch, um, give me a follow because that all helps me out. All helps the, what do they call it, the analytics or the algorithms or the little tech gremlins, whatever they are. <laughs> it, it, helps, it helps my channels out uh, one way or the other. But anyways... Uh, once again, that's going to do it, folks. So thank you so very much for being here and for your support. And I hope to see you Friday morning, hopefully, for when I stream again. And we'll pick up where we left off. So thanks, guys. Uh, take care. Stay warm in this cold weather. And I'll see you in a few days. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.